today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the new puzzle box that Spot picked up from the puzzle box maker. This is the stainless steel puzzle box. I'm sure you probably have already seen my review, reaching off camera here, your, your, the review I already shot of the initial mahogany uh, puzzle box that I got from the puzzle box maker. An absolutely beautiful piece. This is one of my favorite horror pieces that I have in my collection. I was so incredibly impressed with it that I decided to order the stainless steel, I'm going to just move this out of the way, the stainless steel puzzle box, uh, one of the other puzzle boxes that he produces. Again, Spot's going to provide all the information down below if you want to uh, not only uh, have a look at his website, I'm also going to provide some pricing down below as well if you're interested also as well. Now, I have not had a chance to look at this. This has just arrived. Um, I figured I'd keep it uh, wrapped up so that you guys could kind of see it at the same time as I see it. You can see my initial reaction to it. Before we actually have a look at it, though, among the other things that Spot got with it, I got myself a letter. You probably remember at the time that I did the initial review of the Mahogany box, Spock got himself a really neat letter, which is care that you would be surprised to find most companies do, but it's care that the puzzle box maker does when he uh, when you get these sets, these boxes from him. And I'm going to read this off to you. It says, uh, as per our last discussion, you had stated interest in receiving more boxes. They should appear. This one, arri this one arrived at our shop last week, and we're forwarding it to you to appease your curiosity. The seller said that they had had this for several years. Uh, after their father had passed away, they found it hidden in the attic with a letter to destroy it or give it to someone. Anyone but to do not, uh, anyone but do not keep it with the family. The letter also stated that the father had purchased it from an uh, alchemist in India in the 1920s who was trying to create a way to help enlighten the soul. As you know, there are many boxes out there, and, we're mo and most we've seen are gold color or brass, but this one is silver or stainless steel, it appears. In our research of this specific box, we found the alchemist who was making these boxes had encountered a brass one, but could not wash the blood off of it. In an effort to make a box that would not stain, he came up with this one. As you will see, this one has no blood stain on it, so we, we do not know how many hands had passed through. Needless to say, you know the history of these boxes, and it is usually not pretty. We think this may also be the person... Captain Elliot Spencer purchased this box from the one that you initially received from us. We believe was the box that he sold to Captain Spencer that pushed him to create a box that would not stain. One more thing we've found about these boxes is we've heard for years they were created to help people achieve enlightenment or happiness, and as you know, most stories accompanying these boxes are horrific. It is theorized that in trying to find a piece and enlightenment, these people have come across these boxes in that search and soon after become obsessed with them. So it's not peace or enlightenment that have called these boxes into their lives. It is desire. We all know where desire can lead. We hope that yours isn't like the others and you can live a long and happy life. Take care and let us know what you think. Sincerely, the Puzzle Box Maker. I think it's awesome that... You get envelopes, you get letters like this with your purchases. Um, so having said that, let's actually have a look at the uh, the box that I, I have purchased. Grab myself a knife. Again, Spot has not seen this yet. I only saw this on his website. And uh, I, again, I was so incredibly impressed with how the mahogany turned out that I definitely wanted to get the stainless steel box as well. So I'm just going to take the paper off. Oh. That, let me just put the paper aside there for a second. That is absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's using the same, I'm going to bring in the puzzle, the original puzzle box that I purchased for, so you can see the comparison between the two. 
This one obviously is more screen accurate, being that it's using the mahogany wood and then the brass plates for the puzzle de uh, decorations. This is a more screen accurate uh, box. However, this one I really like. As you can see in its place of the mahogany, now you've got a, a, a black box and then instead of the brass plates, you've got these stainless steel uh, plates on top. He's finished it perfectly. It's got these same, it's got these same gloss finish that he's applied to the initial mahogany box. Um, he's done this also on the stainless steel, and I got to say, I am incredibly impressed. While again, it does not is not necessarily a screen accurate version of the puzzle box. It is a really nice accompanying piece to the original box that I purchased. Along with, I'm just gonna put that right there. Along with the puzzle box, the stainless steel puzzle box, Spot also got himself a display stand. I'll put that right there. Also, reaching into the bag here, reaching into the box here. Actually, you know what? Hold on one second. Hold on. Along with the display stand, I also got myself a triangular stand for the box itself. Put that right there. That will allow you to actually take the puzzle box and angle it, which I think is the best way to, to do so. Um, having it just simply sitting on your shelf is, is perfect, but having it like this on an angle, for me, is that's that's the way I want to have it presented. And lastly, the, the other thing that Spot picked up, which a lot of people have asked before, I did the mahogany, just taking, if you hear anything, that's a Spot taking the bubble wrap off. I also got myself to finish the piece, I got myself the dome. Now that, that is a beautiful way to display the piece. Now when I initially shot the review of the mahogany, the one question that I got a lot in the, uh, in the comments section down below was, uh, does, he care, does he sell the dome? Now recently he has now started selling the dome. It was an available piece before, but he's now selling the dome, the base, and all the triangular piece uh, stands as well. Um, I would say, if anything, I'm just gonna move the. By the way, it is a, a solid wood base, solid wood. Uh, moving that out of the way here. I would say, if anything, uh, the triangular bases are the way to go, at least for displaying it, like so. I got myself another triangular base from the first one that I picked up, the first mahogany. And for me, that is a perfect way to have it displayed. Let's move those out of the way. Um, I, I gotta say though, I mean, Spock collects himself a lot of horror-related props and and uh, merchandise and stuff like that. The one thing I always wanted to get myself in my collection was the puzzle boxes. Now, Spot's picked up a couple of puzzle boxes in it. In, in the years that I've been collecting. Um, as I've indicated with the initial puzzle box, the mahogany one that I purchased from the puzzle box maker, he is probably the closest, he produced probably the closest uh, reproductions of movie, of the movie boxes that I've seen. And the gloss is extremely, it's, it, I mean, just between the gloss and the weight, uh, these puzzle boxes are a lot heavier than the previous ones that I've, I've collected. Um, the mahogany feels heavier than the than the stainless steel, but I think the stainless steel came out perfectly. I'm very impressed with how it turned out. Just give you guys a close up of the box itself. The, I think the silver really shows well with the black box. Spot again is going to provide all the information down below. So if you want to check these out and uh, pick up some for yourself, I would highly recommend it. And uh, as for, for those that were mentioning, or for those that were asking before about the display stands, the domes as well as the stands are also all available through his store. But uh, um, when I initially bought this, 
my goal in mind was eventually to get the stainless steel and now having it arrive and having it in hand um, I couldn't have asked for a better looking piece today's collectible spot we're having a look I was very happy to have a look um, at the the silver the stainless steel puzzle box that I picked up from puzzle box maker Again, all the information will be down below. So if you guys are interested, if you are a fan of the Hellraiser franchise and you want to get one of these for yourself, um, I would definitely click the link down below and uh, you won't be disappointed. Certainly stick around though, guys. Spots got more collectible spots heading your way. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.